Science Form Quarter 3, Week 3 Force exerted by magnets How much did you learn about magnets and magnetic fields? Let's find out! Before we proceed, kindly take note of these reminders. Read and analyze each question carefully. Answer the questions in your own, strictly. No use of notes, books, and other references. Question number one. What is the other name given to natural magnets in the past? Letter A, lodestone. Letter B, horseshoe. Letter C, magnesia. Or letter D, keepers. If your answer is lodestone, good job! Lodestone or load leading is kind for natural magnets because of their property to indicate direction. 2. Which part of the horseshoe magnet has the strongest magnetic field? A, A, N, B, B, D, C, E, or D, C. You're right. The magnetic force is strongest at the magnetic poles and relatively weaker in the other parts of the magnet. Question number 3. Which among the substances below exhibit the strongest magnetic property? A. Gold B. Steel C. Iron or D. Copper If your answer is C. Iron, good! Silver, copper, and gold are considered non-magnetic and may only really interact with very strong magnetic fields. If you have got all the numbers right, very good! But if not, don't worry, this video will help you know more about magnets and magnetic force. In our previous lesson, we have learned that force is a push or pull. Force can change the size, shape, or even movement of an object. Did you know that magnet has a magnetic force? A magnetic force is an invisible force exerted by magnet when they attract or repel each other. Okay class, before we go further to our lesson today, let's have a short review. Write T in your answer sheet if the concept in the sentence about force is correct and F if not. Number 1. Force is a push or pull of an object. 2. The shape of an object changed when force is applied to it. 3. Performing daily activities like walking, sweeping the floor uses force. 4. A footballer uses a force to change the direction of motion of a ball. And number 5. A cyclist uses a bigger force to pedal his bicycle and increase its speed. You can now check your answer. Here is the answer key. Did you get the right answer? Okay, very good. We can now move on to our first activity in our third module entitled Magnetically Amazing. In this activity, you will identify and classify objects as to whether they can be attracted by a magnet or not. These are the materials needed in these activities. Rice grains, sand, staple wire, coins, pieces of paper, clay, and magnet. Combine five materials, rice grains, staple wire, coins, cut out pieces of paper, and sand. Use magnet and hold it near to the given materials. Okay, observe what happens and classify the materials as to whether they can be attracted by magnet or not. Oh, which materials are attracted by a magnet? Yes, those are, are staple wire, coins, and some sand. Not all sand can be attracted by magnet, only the black sand. Because black sand contains a magnetic mineral called magnetite. Magnetite is a type of iron oxide that is naturally occurring and it is what makes black sand magnetic. 
As we can see, the rice grains, gray sand, and paper remain on the plate. Magnets are first observed as natural ores called lodestone in Magnesia, an ancient city of Turkey. The Chinese were probably the first to use lodestone as a compass to tell the direction of the north and the south poles of the earth. How our earth behaves as a magnet? Have you ever seen a compass? A compass is a tool that helps people which direction are going in. A compass needle aligns itself and points toward the top of the earth magnetic field, giving you a consistent sense of direction. This works because the earth is like a big magnet. There is iron inside the earth that gives our planet its magnetic field. Okay, now let's move on to activity 2. Make a chart of object that can be attracted by a magnet. Materials needed, coloring materials, colored paper, glue or paste, scissor, pen, and pictures of magnetic materials. Okay, after preparing all the materials needed, the next thing you do is cut or draw the picture that can be attracted by a magnet such as scissor, paper clip, nail cutter, spoon, pork, coins, staple wire, nail, and so on. Then start making a layout of your chart. Use colored paper or coloring materials to add the design of your chart. You should also use another piece of band paper for this activity. Then glue or paste it on the right side of your ISN to serve as your output for this module. Okay, for activity number 3, list down uses of magnets. Choose the uses of magnet inside the box. Write your answer in the graphic organizer. You may now check your answer. Here is the answer key. Okay, now for our last objective, Describe and infer the force exerted by a magnet on another magnet. Magnets have two poles on opposite sides. One is south pole and the other one is north pole. Opposite poles are attracted to each other. As we can see, north and south poles are attracted or pulled toward each other. Observe this video. South poles repel each other. In the same way, north and north poles push away from each other. Okay, let's now check your understanding. Put check in the blank if the object is magnetic and X if not. Write your answer in your answer sheet. Now, check your answer. Do you get the right answer? Very good. You can now answer the post test. Enjoy learning! Music